Friday, 6 a.m. You get up and get ready for your day. You eat your breakfast while editing your blog post about self-improvement. 9 a.m. You pack your bags and head over to your business class on campus. 12 p.m. You grab lunch in the cafeteria while watching YouTube videos. 4 p.m. You're done with classes and head home. You see a cute girl on your way back and decide to say hey. You score and get her number before you leave. 5 p.m. You're at the gym getting a nice shoulder pump. 7 p.m. You're back home getting ready for work. For a club bouncer. 9 p.m. You're outside the club and the people start rolling in. 12 a.m. The club is packed and the drinks are flowing. You notice the cute girl from earlier and you get a chance to talk to her before your manager notices. 5 a.m. The lights come on and it's time to go home. While you're helping the crowd leave, you get into a brawl. A drunk regular sucker punches you in the head, breaking your cheekbone and leaving you dazed. Your ears ringing as you get back up, but they hit you again, this time knocking you out. Little did you know, this incident would change your life forever. You are Derek from More Plates, More Dates. What's up guys, Derek, More Plates, More Dates, dot com. Today we're gonna be talking about leg day nausea. To better understand how the bar fight would change Derek's life, you need to first understand who Derek is. Hi, my name is Ovi. I make fitness video essays just like this one. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Born and raised in Canada, Derek grew up as a skinny kid. And I was easily the skinniest, maybe not in the entire school, but I was one of the skinniest guys in uh, the senior class, graduating class for my age groups. So I was six foot one. 138 pounds. It was only later in the 11th grade he picked up football. Shortly after, he started working out. Derek was also good at math, so it's no surprise that he studied accounting in college. It was like, I'm good with numbers and finance and shit, so maybe I'll do accounting. I literally thought my end goal was gonna be be an accountant like downtown. And I was like, what's a more specific version of that? Oh, like forensic accounting. I can like work on like criminal fucking investigations on accounting. But Derek always felt underwhelmed by his career choice. He felt he was always destined for more, but didn't know what exactly. So I was like, I felt like I was more, uh, I don't know, ab capable of more than just like a desk job working for somebody else kind of thing, but I just didn't know what. It didn't help that he wasn't a fan of how the college system worked. However, he understood the importance of the college degree and persisted through. The thing I disagree with too about the system, like even from how overpriced it is, the whole like debt encouragement thing at a young age where you don't understand how the shit works, all that kind of stuff aside, above and beyond that, even when you know what you want to do and you take the education required to get that end goal, mm -hmm. they make you take general electives to get your unit requirements up to actually- Just like most college guys, Derek was trying his best to get laid as much as possible. So it's no surprise he was blown away by Chris from the Good Looking Losers video about approaching women. In the video, Chris approaches a girl in a clothing store. He strikes up a conversation with her, gets her number, and even lands a date. Because I was actually sitting in university just like eating lunch one day and one of my friends came up to me, he's like, yo, you seen this video? And it was like the first YouTube video that guy ever posted of a cold approach. I was like, wow, like this is revolutionary shit at the time. Having enjoyed the video so much, Derek searched for more of Chris's content, which led him to Chris's website, blog post, and forum. Derek began following the blog post and became an active member in the forum. Being exposed to a community highly focused on self-improvement, Derek began experimenting with skincare, haircare, diets, training ideologies, and something he would later become popular for, steroids and PEDs. He spent any free time he had reading papers, forums, and blog posts to get a better understanding of different compounds and how they affected the body. Whatever free time you have, you either allocate it to, do you watch Netflix, do you do this, do you do that? Mm -hmm. I never did any of that shit unless I was with a chick on a date or something. Right. So I would just like sit there and like nerd out on stuff. Over time, Derek became popular on the forums for his experience and insight, even becoming close friends with Chris. Inspired by the multi-million dollar company Chris has built from scratch on the internet, Derek bought the domain name More Plates, More Dates and began making blog posts of his own. However, each blog post took him about 10 hours to make, which was a huge time commitment considering he was still a full-time college student and a part-time bouncer. This was around the time Derek got into the fight that would change his life forever. After getting attacked in the club, Derek sustained injuries that left him stuck at home for several months. Within this time, Derek decided to focus on writing his blog post and making YouTube videos. March 5th, 2016, Derek created the channel, More Plates, More Dates. For the first two years, Derek made content around male self-improvement topics like dieting, training, cologne, hair care, and personal advice. He also made finance content, 
vlogs and music reviews from time to time. September 29, 2018 will be the first time Derek publishes content that he will be known for. After which, Derek will upload three similar videos but with a twist. Do you notice the difference? If you didn't, that's okay. It's hard to notice at first glance, but Derek is doing something known as trend jacking. Trend jacking is when you create content based off of a current trend to reach a larger audience. In the first video, he uses a ridiculous quote from bodybuilder Mark Lovner to talk about TRT. In the second video, Derek talks about another ridiculous claim made by the famous bodybuilder Self Ferrosi. The third video is exactly the same. This strategy will greatly pay off a couple months down the road when he released this video. Derek will continue to do this video after video and gather thousands of views and subscribers. I did a video on Chris Hemsworth's calves. Yeah. His, his calves. Because I he was saw it. Because he's wearing shorts and like he just didn't have a good angle. And that video got like 800,000 views in like a couple of weeks and I'm just like... Today Derek is also focusing on collaboration. Having made an appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast, Greg Doucette's podcast, Fresh and Fit live show, he's also hosted people like Dan Brazilian, Kino Body, Paul Saladino and more. Trend jacking was a great way for Derek to get more and more people to click on his videos. But what made them stay? There are two things that make Derek's content so good, his knowledge and personality. Derek has the ability to mix his knowledge about steroids and PEDs with his gym bro-like personality. This makes him very relatable to the audience. The, the, the biggest vocabulary of the word, and that's like you're built like a truck stick. I'm like, where does he come up with that? It's like you're listening to a doctor. And then at the same time, he's like, fucking truck stick. And it's like, what? Like but what is he up to today? Remember when Derek joined Chris's forum and started writing blog posts of his own? Well, Chris later reached out to Derek and offered him a position in Red Pill, his supplement company. So I actually started as like a customer service rep just like basically do every tedious thing for this other supplement company. Derek was still heavily studying supplements and compounds. So when the company wanted to formulate the nootropic supplement, Derek was also their go-to guy. Chris was like, I want to make a nootropic. Can you help me formulate it and like work for that company? Yeah. And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Shortly after, Chris recruited Derek for a position at Gorilla Mind, a supplement company he would later co-own with Chris. From there, I bought the piece of the company that became mine so it's like my partner chris and like we co-own it you know what i mean today derek continues to post content on his youtube channel while co-owning a telemedicine company that helps individuals optimize their overall health hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and comment down your favorite line from derek mine is efficacious dose this was the story of derek from more plates more dates and how a bar fight changed his life forever